All right, welcome back to Sports Edge. They've destroyed our set back in the building, so we've taken the show on the road. And who do we run into but the Yale football coach, Tony Reno? Tony, you got a little camp going on here. First of all, how's your summer going? Summer's going well. We've had a busy recruiting season. So what's going on uh, in uh, Division One college recruiting is uh, everything's moved up. The timetable's moved up. The sessions have moved up. So we've had seven one-day camps. This is our eighth today. Um, so we got about you know a couple hundred kids here working out, running, lifting, and and um, showing their skills in the field. So it's great. It gives us a great opportunity opportunity to show them Yale as well. How much do you enjoy things like this where you have high school kids and it's 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 actually some real teaching. You're always teaching but some younger guys. It's it's you know it's great. It's it's, uh, it's one of the things you love about spring ball where you're just teaching skills and, and you get these guys that come here and uh, you know they're they're really looking for um, anything offense defensively looking for that one thing that help them get better. So it's pretty rewarding when you get a chance to send them off with something that can help them prepare for their season. Eight and two last year. Have you have you taken that moment where you've sitting down, sat down on a weekend or you know driving in the car and had a chance to reflect about the successful year you guys had last year? Yeah, I think you know when you when you look back at it, I remember I gave an alumni talk. I was in San Francisco and I was driving my uh, driving to my hotel and and um, you know thinking about it. It just was one of those moments that hit me. It was a you know it was a it was a good year, not a great year. Um, so you feel good about the fact that you've made progress, but not at all satisfied by where we are. And um, you know I think that uh, the, the the end of the year um, you know, that that game is sat. Um, it's tough in our stomachs for all of us, myself, our coaching staff, and our players. So um, we definitely have a lot of things to work on and, and get better at for this fall. Looking ahead, just looking at your schedule, that and a lot of information has come out this week. You guys are playing six road games next year. How much of a challenge is that going to be for you guys? It, I think it is when you look at the schedule. Um, for me personally, I love playing at the bowl, but I also like playing away. You know, one of the the one of the tough things about the Ivy League is that when you have home games, you can't get the guys in the hotels, and you, you can't really get a captive audience. But on the road, you can. So um, I love our team. I love our kids, and we've got such a tight knit group of kids. It's really a lot of fun. We go when we travel. Heading into year four of you being the head coach here, yeah. What would you say is the thing you've maybe learned the most over the last couple of years? As far as learning day by day with our with our team and our family, um, you know, take things one day at a time, um, and really, you know, stay dedicated to the process of, of what we want to be, and not not think uh, big picture. Think about how we can get better today, and uh, that's probably the thing I learned the most going into last season um, by just focusing on. On the team and focus on how we can improve daily and I think it really paid dividends for us and you know, can you know, continue to do that day, day after day and day in and day out. You've announced some changes to your coaching staff. You're bringing back a former captain, a new running back coach, but you also have uh, made a change. Larry Ciotti is now kind of trying to retire, but he hasn't really done it yet. More of an administrative role. Uh, what is Madison's favorite son going to be up to these days? Yeah, Connecticut's favorite son. Um, so when I was hired, uh, the first call I made was to Larry and said, hey, you know, I need you and uh, he agreed to give me three years. And um, so when at the end of the year he said, hey, I'm think, I think I'm gonna step down, um, I wouldn't let him step down. And uh, I, I said, hey, yeah, I'd, like you to, I'd like you to stay with the role. Um, so we've been very fortunate with Tom Beckett. He's been you know, unbelievable for us and, and created a position for Larry um, where he's an advisor to me and, and, and Tom as well and for our athletic department. And you know, dealing with alumni and dealing with our team and our players. Um, so he'll be in you know, three or four days a week. He'll be all over the place with us, whether it's alums or practice field or game day environment, but really being an advisor. And for me, he's been um, an incredible mentor. You know, I've been very fortunate to have guys like him and Carm and Jack that, and Tom Beckett that have been great mentors to me. Um, and uh, you know, having him around day in and day out has been, has been really, really something that uh, I really need. Team 143 is going to be kicking off in about two months. Are you going to take some vacation before then, I hope? Yeah, we'll get away a little bit. Um, you know, we've got some baseball with my oldest coming up, but we'll get away a little bit. We'll enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. See, we'll be back with more Sports Edge right after this.